So have you ever thought to yourself, man, I wish my computer leaked more water? Well, that's exactly what we're doing today on building your ideas. I get them all? I get all the cameras? We're making a holographic, like Iron Man style computer display. And this idea was kindly suggested by um, your J Laser video. Wow, that's a pretty neat idea. Must be a cool dude. Nah, I'm just playing guys. It was me the whole time. You got pranked. Cameras everywhere. Actually, our camera's everywhere. But I have gotten a lot of requests for like stuff similar, um, so I just kind of rolled them all into this one build. Put a lot of work into it, so that's why this video is late, so hopefully you guys like it. But usually on building your, my ideas, I'll build projects directly pulled from your comments on these videos. Let's take a look at the top comments uh, for my last pen sword video. So the top comment, make a John Wick armor suit jacket. Pretty much would be like lightweight, flexible body armor. Maybe with some sort of like non-Newtonian fluid would be cool, so like as soon as it gets hit, like hardens up, uh, but the rest of the time it's nice and loose. That'd be tough though, take, take a bit of time. Another most popular comment was a shield that folds out from your wrist. I could do this, but like a few other YouTubers have already done great versions of this, so I need to do something a little bit different uh, if I were to tackle that. And to summarize the rest of the comments, yes, I went through all 736 at the time of this video. It consisted of every version of laser, sword, web shooter, McTwist with a lightsaber on top. I know weapons are cool, but maybe we try and do something like useful. So if you have any ideas, please comment them for like cool, like futuristic builds I could do. Like maybe even something like help people with disabilities would be cool. You decide. Uh, also let me know what you want to see me do for a million subscribers because we're creeping up to that. But also if you've made anything cool, make sure to send it my way on Instagram at jlazervideo because I like showing off you guys' stuff in these videos. So here's a few of your inventions right now. Startups, we definitely gotta put that AI in my Edith glasses. So I did a hologram sort of projector build similar to this before. Basically, it forced fog through a linear flow vent uh, that creates like a virtual sheet of fog that we can then project an image onto. Um, it looks like the image is just floating there in space. You can like wave your hand through it, it's super cool. Today we're gonna refine that. First though, if we actually take a look at like some of the futuristic displays in Iron Man, it's actually really just a transparent monitor and there's a very simple way to do this. Uh, for all of you DIY peeps at home, if you wanna give this a try, just grab like a glass or acrylic piece of the size monitor you want and a mini projector and you're pretty much done. project a display onto the back of the acrylic and we've got our high-tech see-through display. You can even hide the projector and the computer and like the desk behind your desktop or whatever. Uh, also, the screen will be backwards if you're projecting onto the back. Uh, so if you can't flip this in software, literally just use a mirror, bounce that off and angle it so it hits the back. For a final touch, add laser keyboard to taste. The thing projects the keyboard right onto your desk, turning your desk into a like a touch screen keyboard slash mouse pretty much. Very cool. I'll drop links to everything down below if you want to go check it out. So that's pretty cool and all, but uh, you see this? You can touch it. Not cool. We want those like floating holograms that you can like wave around, walk through. You know what I'm talking about. So let's try and do something like that. Easy. 
sort of do a proof of concept test. So the way this should work is right here we've got the smoke output with a bunch of tiny little tubes in it that should hopefully create a laminar flow. So right here we've got a fog machine, that's gonna be our fog input. Now for the final design we're gonna use an ultrasonic vaporizer uh, just so we don't completely fog up the room, which is exactly why I'm doing this right near the window. Quite a few people walking by outside wondering what exactly I'm doing up here with all this smoke pouring out of my room. It's cool, don't worry about it. Just internet videos. The fog enters through here into this tube chamber and then we've got this tube right here which uh, I will have a fan in place of this, but for now I'm just going to kind of blow into it to simulate some airflow to hopefully um, help force the fog out. So let's see if this works. Hopefully, no one calls the fire department on me. Alright, I think that kind of worked. Run that back real quick. This right here is what we're actually going to be using to produce the mist. Take this device, put it in some water, and we just go ahead and plug it in, and then it'll start creating mist. Puts out a decent amount of mist, and we got four of them. That's a lot of damage. So here is what we've got. Pretty rough around the edges, but the way it works, we got two air mattress inflators uh, blowing into this PVC tube uh, that I cut a piece out. Um, and down inside here, we've got four ultrasonic vaporizers. Um, so basically when you fill this kind of trough thing up with water, vaporizers produce vapor, and these fans blow air into the tube and uh, out to this top channel right here. And we've got this laminar flow piece, so that fits right on top, turn it on, channels the air, it's now mixed with the fog out and up, providing us with a nice fog screen that we can project onto. It's pretty cool, except for the fact that it sucks. Basically what's happening is we're not getting a consistent screen. So we're getting just pieces of fog shooting out and not constant, so you really can't project onto it and make it look good. So I think we're gonna have to remake this. Oh shit, dropped it. Well, now we're definitely gonna have to remake it. Guys, so here is the holographic computer. So the goal with this is to emulate the desktop hologram, sort of like the one in Iron Man. Floating image, you can see from all sides, you already know. So here's how it works. We've got a trough inside with four ultrasonic misters. So we can open it up and fill each of these little pods up with water. I think it's better on a fog machine because uh, one, it's less toxic. Two, it doesn't vape up the whole room. Here's where we fixed it though. Instead of putting air into the sides, we're now kind of blowing air over it and then up. So sort of think of like whoosh, 
we switched out the two air mattress inflators for 10 mini fans. So with these 10 fans, we're able to get like sort of like a strip of air rather than two just giant jets of air that have to then switch direction by hitting each other. This method makes for much better laminar flow. I probably said laminar flow more times in this video than I have in my entire life. Five fans in the back right here. Blow the air sideways over the four ultrasonic vaporizers. Then blow the fog right into the other fans which are on the bottom, which then blows the air up and out of the laminar flow <laughs> port right here. And we 3D printed this entire thing, which means it looks a lot better. Uh, and I'll provide the CAD link in the description for those of you who are curious. The whole thing can either run on batteries or can be plugged in. I didn't have any lipos, so what I did is I just used a lot of 9 volts. So this thing on the side right here is essentially just a bunch of power converters. Also, because my original plan was to just use two giant 120 millimeter fans, they don't really do anything, but they look cool. So, left them on there, they light up blue, really gives it sort of like futuristic hoverboard vibes. And then of course we can grab our projector and laser keyboard to finish this thing off. So let's try it out. Yes. Is it working? Yeah. Really well. Really? Yeah. You can like <laughs> wave wave your hand through. Oh. Alright. Yes. Got it. All right, it's on. He's My typing. What are you typing? My dearest Lusitania. <laughs> He's typing a little love letter. Lusitania? Yeah. She, Is that her name? She's beautiful. You just wouldn't get it. Right. I hit the shift. Shift? You don't seem to think <laughs> that what I'm writing is no, important. No, I, I, I believe you. Oh, Jeez. I can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, good. The camera doesn't get it, but I know. Yes, yes. You can yeah. really, if you look very closely there, you can see the tiny text. It's super HD. Oh, how I, I missed, missed your smile. Missed? Because missed? I get it. I, I put the T. I didn't put the T. I know, I know. I got you. Yes. Alright, good. So, some good content. Jay is a video. Leakage though, that is some seepage back here. Dude. Check this out. That's a that's a feature, dude. It, it, exactly. you, you put your plants under here. Yes. I don't know. How to... <laughs> Just pet him. <laughs> yes, my oh, child. Uh, here we go, guys. Wow, that's unbelievable. There we go guys, holographic desktop monitor. It's not perfect, I'll admit it. The screen isn't super clear. Two seconds, no noise. Thank you. <laughs> Just, oh my God. <laughs> but I hope you did like this video. I know there are a couple problems with this thing. Um, leaks just a little bit, you know, who, who doesn't like a leaky computer? I do like that it's actually pretty quiet. If you use giant fans or like air mattress inflators, they're pretty loud. Thankfully, there's computer fans, so it's actually pretty quiet. Maybe for future modifications, We'll try and make the screen a little bit clearer. We'll figure that out. Let me know if you do want to see like a part two or just comment down below any other ideas you have because uh, I'll go through them all and uh, that'll be the inspiration for the next video. Uh, so thank you guys very much for watching. Take it easy. We'll catch you next time. Peace.